everyone welcome back to my channel i'm a little bit sick at the moment but today i'm going to be doing a tutorial hopefully my voice isn't like too different from what it normally is because it's a little bit raspy um, my throat's kind of like congested i guess um <laughs> yeah anyways so today i'm really excited because i have a tutorial i haven't made a tutorial in a really long time but i really wanted to make a tutorial because this tutorial is actually not that hard and it's really cute so let me grab it so i made this like blueberry pillow i think it is so cute it goes really cute on my bed my bed is currently not made so i'll show like a little clip of it what it looks like at the end of the video when like all put together whenever with the pillow on the bed but it is literally so soft it's squishy it's big it's like you can you actually like use it as a pillow and whatnot and it's also perfect for just like a decoration if you want like like a fun you know decoration for summer whatnot um but yeah this was actually really easy to make um the main part of this pillow is actually completely made by hand which is really really cool and then this top part is made from crochet or you can just make this like um like a pillow without the thing on top um and just have it as like like a circular pillow so yeah but today i'm going to be doing a tutorial on this so let's get into what we're going to be needing all right so for the main thing that we're going to be needing for this tutorial is obviously some stuffing um i just have this big bag of fiber fill that i got from amazon um you can literally get fiber fill or polyfill anywhere online michael craft store you can find polyfill or fiber fill so we need that um then for the yarn i used i used this bernat blanket big breaded yarn this is really soft really chunky and you only need one ball of this i got this on sale from michael's for five dollars which is pretty good and then if you want to use um if you want to make like the top of the pillow i would get a green color and you can just get this in any like worsted weight yarn um worsted weight yarn it doesn't even have to be expensive um but this is just if you want to add that little detail for the blueberry on top but like I said, if you don't want it to be a blueberry, then of course you don't have to do this. Um, for the crochet part, you are going to need a five millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a yarn needle or like um, just a needle that you can like sew crochet parts together. You're going to need a stitch marker or paper clip or whatever you use as a stitch marker. And lastly, you're going to need a pair of scissors. If you want to add like a little face to your um, blueberry, you can do that, but I do not show how to do that in the video. So just keep that in mind. If you want to add some safety eyes and add like a little smile and whatnot, it's all up to you and what you want to do with it. So yeah, let's just get right on into it. Okay, so to start off, we are going to start with the um, top of the blueberry like the stem part so if you don't want to um make this part and just make the pillow you know then you can skip ahead and um try to find where i start making the pillow but for now we're going to start with the stem so i'm going to start with a magic ring of six stitches and then you're going to pull it tight and now we're going to put our stitch marker on the loop that's currently around our hook. And for our first row, we are going to increase in every single stitch. And we're just doing single crochets for this entire um, part. We're going to move the stitch marker up to the loop around our hook. And for the next row, we're going to just be slowly increasing this. So for the next row, we're going to be doing a single crochet in the first stitch and then in the next stitch, an increase. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. Move your stitch marker up to the loop around your hook 
For the next row, we're going to be doing a single crochet into the first stitch, another single crochet into the second stitch, and the third stitch, we're going to be doing an increase. So two single crochets and then an increase. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around. Move your stitch marker up to the loop around your hook. For the next row, we're going to be doing three single crochets and then an increase. So one single crochet, a second single crochet, and a third single crochet. And then into the fourth stitch, we're going to do an increase. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around. Move the stitch marker up to the loop around your hook. All right, for the next row, we're going to be doing five or four single crochets. And then an increase into the fifth. So four single crochets and then an increase into the fifth. And we're just going to repeat that until we get all the way around. All right, so we're gonna move the stitch marker up to the loop around our hook. And for the last row, we're going to add um, like the parts that kind of like hang off a little bit. So I'm gonna show you how to do that for the last row. So we're going to put three single crochets Then we are going to do another one and then we're going to chain seven We're going to go into the stitch and do a single crochet and then we're just going to single crochet down that chain Now we're going to go into this kind of like upside down V kind of thing and we're going to just make a um, single crochet into there. And then we're going to make a single crochet back into the next stitch. And that is how you make those like little um, kind of pieces that stick out. So now we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. And now into this fourth one, we're gonna do single crochet and then repeat with the chain seven. Then we're going to go into the chain, do a single crochet, and we're going to do single crochets down that chain. Again, make sure that you do you go into this little kind of V-shaped thing. And do a single crochet, and then single crochet into the next stitch. So we're gonna keep repeating that um, pattern. So single crochet into the next three stitches in the fourth, then you're going to single crochet in there, chain seven, single crochet down that chain, and just keep doing that all the way until we get back to um, right here. I'm just finishing up the round. And in that last stitch, we're going to remove the stitch marker and we're just going to do a slip stitch. We're gonna chain one and then we're going to kind of leave a good amount for a tail because we are going to be using this tail to sew it onto the main pillow part. So take your scissors, um, cut the end. And now with that chain one, we're just gonna pull through the end and pull this tight. So now we can put this piece to the side and we're gonna grab our chunky yarn and start the pillow. All right, so I did just zoom out a bit so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better because this yarn is really, th all right. So I'm just going to take this off. 
Um, let's find the end. That's just something I like to do. I just like to poof it out. I don't know if that's something anyone else likes to do, but that's just something that I like to do personally. Okay, so to start with, we are just going to leave a chain about this long. I'd say this is about seven to 10 inches. Just um, so we can um, do some tightening and sewing type of stuff at the end, but you'll see that eventually. So we're going to start by making just kind of like a slip knot. I don't know exactly how to show you how to do it, um, but you just kind of wrap it around your fingers and then go under and then just kind of pull it through. Make it big enough so you can leave about like three of your fingers in there. And now we are going to make about 15 uh, chains. So you're gonna use your fingers for this. And make them pretty decently sized. You don't want them to be you know, too big or too small, but we wanna be able to see the chains. So I don't know if what I'm doing is extremely clear or not, but I'm going to try my best um, to show you how to do this. So make 15 chains and I'm just kind of using my fingers, grabbing the string and then pulling it through. And yeah, I'll show you maybe one or two more times. But yeah, keep doing this until you have 15 chains. All right, once you have 15 chains, then you're going to take this loop and you're just going to put it through right there. And it should look like a circle. Um, it's doesn't, it doesn't really look like a pillow right now, obviously. But that's because we haven't worked it up very well yet. So, this is just the beginning. So, once we have this little loop, then we're going to make sure that we don't accidentally use this tail. We're going to put that over there. And we're going to use this part. And we're just going to leave this right there. Just leave that touch. Don't touch that. And now we can just keep pulling this yarn through and making loops through every stitch that we made. Don't make them too big, but don't make them too small. You want to be able to see them. Um, also, sorry, there is like um, someone mowing their lawn next door, which is kind of making it kind of hard for me to hear myself speak for the tutorial. But we are just going to keep adding loops in to every um, stitch that you see all the way around until we get back to this first right there. Okay, so this is what um, it should sort of look like. So now we're just gonna keep kind of going in, in like rows of continuing um, putting loops into every single uh, loop around. You're just gonna keep making loops. So you can kind of see how I'm doing that. I'm just pulling the yarn through pulling it up a little bit, and then going to the next stitch. We're just going to keep doing this for 15 rounds. And the way that I track my rounds is I like to make sure wherever this tail is, is where I count like, like the bottom of my rows from. And then I just count like one, two, three, four, and you'll see it more as you continue to make the rounds. So make sure to keep an eye on that tail, but just keep doing that for the next 15 rounds and I will be back when I am done. All right, so I did not finish the 15 rounds yet, but I'm just kind of showing you, this is kind of how it starts to build up after a few rounds. So yeah, I think it's looking pretty good, but I'll meet you back when I'm actually done with 15 rows now. All right, so once you finish your 15 rows, it should look like this. It just kind of looks like a blob at the moment. Um, so this is the top. You want to leave a good amount of, a ch um, not a chain, but like a um, tail. And then we are going to cut the yarn. 
Um, there might be some fluffies that come off because this yarn is one of those kinds of yarns. Um, you do have a little bit of extra, so if you don't, I don't know if you wanna do anything with this or not, but there is some extra yarn from that ball. And then we have the bottom. So the bottom situation we will work on before the top. So for the bottom, we are going to grab this end tail and we're just kind of kind of pull it through. I don't know if you can kind of see these like loops, but you're just gonna kind of weave it through those loops. And this is what I did for the blueberry because it just helps um, you. So when you want to pull the bottom tight, it just kind of tightens. So that's something I really liked about this tightening strategy, I guess. I don't know. The way to end it off, make it look finished. And if it starts to get a bit short, you can start... Um, to pull it and you'll see it, you know, start to cinch in, which is exactly what we want because we want it to, you know, be the shape of a blueberry. So, but yeah, continue doing this until the entire bottom is cinched up. All right, I finished with the bottom. So now it's all cinched up. You just kind of tuck in the end and now we are going to fix the top. So we're actually going to grab our stuffing and start stuffing it as well um, because we don't want to close it up before we stuff it because otherwise it's not a pillow. Um, so go ahead and grab your stuffing. So once you have it, you know, decently stuffed, then we can start um, to um, pull through this ending string and we're just going to pull it through every single loop um that we made around here um yeah this one started to come undone but i'll just do it and as soon as you're seeing this part starting to get a bit shorter you can start to pull it and cinch it in All right, so once you get that, you're just gonna, you know, continue pulling it until it is pretty much closed. But um, don't fully close it yet um, because you still want to stuff it because it's not fully stuffed. So let me continue stuffing it. Once it's fully stuffed, you just keep pulling it until it's nice and secure. And it should look kind of like just like a big kind of pillow or ball or whatever. And yeah. So I'm just making sure it's really secure. And then I'm actually gonna go in with a really big um, crochet hook, but it's okay if you don't have one of these um, because you can just kind of use your fingers to tuck it in underneath. But um, you can just pull this yarn underneath to get it really secure. And I go in a few times just from several little different directions just to make sure that this yarn really stays secure and doesn't like undo. And then you can just go ahead and cut the excess yarn from the tail. All right, so I can't really zoom out my camera any more than this, but this is what it is looking like. It just looks like a big ball here. I will turn the camera around for a moment so you can see what I mean. You can see the camera stand, but um, this is what it looks like. It's literally ginormous, um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. Now we're going to sew the stem on the top and then we have our pillow. All right, so to sew the top on, you're going to grab the piece and we're going to grab our um, like uh, yarn needle or sewing needle. And we're going to slide the yarn through. All right, okay. 
So this part we just kind of want to make sure is underneath and then we kind of, you know, center it where we want it to go. And from here, you can just kind of start, you know, sewing it on. Once you're done sewing all the way around, then you're just going to go underneath the green part and kind of tuck it in. And then I just like to go down into it and kind of find where the needle goes coming out of the side of the blueberry, just to ensure extra like secureness for the sewing, the sewing part. And then snip it and <laughs> we're done. This is the final result. I think it looks so cute. I am literally going to use these pillows all the time. I have another one over here. They're so cute. I love them so much. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It has been a while since I've made a tutorial, so I have no idea if this tutorial is good for you guys or not. Let me know down below. I hope you guys make this and I hope you find it pretty easy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you wanna see next. Bye.